everybody, this is Summer Erin, and today I'm following up on the reveal of Maggie for Paralyzed. We saw the Parafolk reveal, and it was really exciting. Some people liked it, some people didn't. But I have some more answers for you. A lot of you were asking some questions and I decided to do an interview with Roxanne. Roxanne is really patient and really amazing and did answer a couple questions that you guys might have about Parafolk Beyond Maggie's Reveal. Before we go ahead and get started, my name is Simmer Erin. I do Sims 4 news, speculation, and info videos, as well as, of course, Paralives news and speculation and info videos. And I have playlists for both, so check those out. First of all, if you are here for some unknown reason and you haven't seen the official Parafolk review, I do really recommend you, number one, go check out the original video. And then I did do a review on it. Of course, a lot of people did a review on it, so you do not have to watch mine. But definitely consider that if you want to learn more about that. This is a follow-up to that video, and there's been a lot of hype. There's been a lot of... Just, just a lot of chatter about this reveal. So I wanted to get down to some more details, some things I was personally wondering. So I'm going to go through my interview with Roxanne, this exclusive interview I'm really excited to share with you. And then at the end, I will have just a few tweets that are public that I would like to also tell you about because they are related to Parafolk in the game. So let's go ahead and jump and get started. Like I said, Roxanne was amazing because she did not need to answer my questions and I really appreciate it. So I said to her, we saw some excellent customization options, but many wondered if we would be able to change Parafolk face details as well as the body details. What parts and if we could expect a preview of changing the face details. Roxanne says, of course, I'm going to personally make sure we have a good bunch of face sliders, texture options, etc. We'll be showing a lot more Paramaker stuff in the future. Not sure about the precise dates yet. So that is really exciting. I was pretty sure that in the past she had mentioned things such as being able to customize the eyes and the mouth. But I didn't know for sure if that was a sure thing. And a lot of people were concerned because they saw the awesome customization in terms of the height sliders and also the different parts of the body. But they said, I really hope we can customize the face. And I'm happy to report that, yes, we're going to be able to customize the face. And not only that, we're going to actually see a preview of that a little bit later. So I'm really excited, no matter when it comes, to see that. I'm also really interested when she said texture options because some people were talking about textures. So I don't know what that means and I don't know what that's going to mean for the skin and the face. So I am really excited to see that as well. Going off of that, I also mentioned that the freckles are amazing. Of course, guys, I am biased because in the summer, I get lots of freckles. I just haven't been out that much in the sunlight, sadly. So my freckles are still very faded. I have what I would say seasonal freckles almost. But anyway, I personally really liked the freckles on Maggie. And so I said, the freckles are amazing. Are there any other skin details you are currently working on? And she answered, there will be more, but we want to work on the basic features and systems before making variations for stuff like that. So again, there's not going to be just freckles, but there's going to be some other skin details. We don't know what those are yet, but they are working on basic features and systems. So I actually want to emphasize this because a lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, you know, I can't wait for it to come out. And that's really great. But just keep in mind, even though we got a sneak peek of this, everything's still in early development. So there's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes that we don't know about and it might be a long time and personally I'm willing to wait for it because I think the team knows what they're doing. I think they're doing really well and not being rushed or feeling too pressured and so I'm willing to wait for that and of course I am really excited to see what other skin details there might be because I thought the freckles were such a great touch. I understand that this is an early render. Do you see Maggie's graphics changing in any way down the road? A lot of people are also mentioning this and wondering if Maggie would end up looking different. I anticipate that maybe she might look a little bit different because if you remember back when Paralyzed first released its first couple videos, the graphics were quite a bit different for the environment than they are now. And I've seen that progression. I've talked about how I've really loved that and it's been really exciting. But this is what Roxanne said. There's a lot left to tweak and polish, but I doubt we'll be moving away from the 2D drawn character look. So for some of you, that will be good news. Some of that would be bad news, but it's really good to just get that out there. So it is going to stick with a 2D sort of look, 
but it's going to be polished more. Some people mentioned that they would like it to see a little bit more polished, and the good news is yes, it will be more polished. So I am really excited to see that. I admit I initially kind of was envisioning more of a three-dimensional look, and that was my biggest hope. I do think that Maggie is really cute, and I do think that with some additional polish, I'm going to absolutely love her. I already like her. I do think also though, for me, it's gonna take a little good use to, but I already am really warming up to it. It's really funny, and I mentioned this in my last video, when The Sims 4 initially re released their graphics, when I first saw it at least, I didn't like it. I flat out hated Sims 4 graphics, and now I love them. So I'm a weird person to ask about graphics, don't mind me. Gameplay is the most important thing for me anyway, but I do think Maggie's really cute. I just think with a little bit of polish, maybe she will fit in with the background a little bit more. So I'm really excited to see that. Will there be more clothing revealed in the future? Any clothes you are working on? I was just really curious because I also mentioned this in my past video. I am a sucker for formal clothes and I just want to see some more variety. I was happy with what we saw, but I just want to see more because I think it's already looking good. And Roxanne simply said yes. So I can't tell you anything else except for they are going to have more clothes and I'm excited to look into that. Actually, I do have a speculation video if you're interested about clothing that could be involved in pair lives and some things they have suggested in the past. So you can check that out on my playlist if you're interested. Next I ask, can we expect to see a preview of other ages or genders anytime soon? Gender stuff will likely come quicker than other ages. I know a lot of people said, I want to see the babies, I want to see the toddlers, I want to see the children. I understand why we would see male stuff in other genders before we would see other ages, right? Because it's going to be a little bit easier to tweak. Still, I am really excited for that. And like I said, I'd rather them take their time. And finally, I asked, anything you want to say about the art style you're, you were looking for, animating Maggie, or anything else you would like us to know? We're looking forward to hiring an animator as none of us are particularly into it. I've messaged a couple of my friends about the posting. Leah and I are also enthusiastic about writing more dev diaries, explaining our development process and design choices. On this note, I would say, if you guys are interested, you become a Patreon member. If not, the good news is regardless, they are gonna look to hire an animator. And the reason they could do this is because their Patreon support has just completely gone out the roof. I heard 20K per month, and when I last looked at it, it was 10K per month, which was still really respectable. So that is so exciting. They're gonna continue expanding their team, and some people did mention that they weren't sure about the animation. Some people already liked them, so there's always different opinions on that. But they're gonna get a person who specializes in animation, so it's gonna be really exciting to see that and I'm sure that's going to be a really great asset to their game. And then I'm going to end on just a couple tweets that I think would be helpful for you guys to know, just a little extra things about Parafolk. And so the first one is Parafolk will have belly buttons in case you were wondering. Wonder if they're going to bring out the crop tops, but someone did ask if they have belly buttons. Another person asked if we'd be able to change the weight in muscular level. And Roxanne says, yes, absolutely, and change the weight in muscular level. And this person also asked how the 24-hour clock would apply and if you'd be able to change the height sliders in the game settings instead of meters. So basically asking, are there going to be different units of measurement depending on where you are? And Roxanne says, yes, various measurement units will be available. And finally, what is next for Paralyzed? Well, Roxanne has some interesting news and it is that they're going to be working on personalities after they're done with Paramaker features, which I'm really excited because that is going to be my, almost probably my number one reason to buy this game or I mean to get involved in this game more is the personalities. I'm just so excited to see what they come up with because I think they have some really interesting ideas. And I'm sorry, I forgot one more thing. It is confirmed now that babies will not be objects in Paralyzed. You heard that right. Babies will not be objects in Paralyzed. So if you really care about that, you will not have objects, but you will have actual babies in Paralyzed. So I'm going to close it out here. I know that was a lot of information. I really hope you enjoyed this 
somewhat rambling interview and I hope you really learn some new things about the pair folk. Let me know, are you guys excited? What features are you most excited for? Is there anything else you're curious about or want to know? I may or may not be able to answer it, but I can do my best. Let me know, of course, video suggestions as well. And as a final note, if you are one of those people that is just really sick of Sims and that's why you're going over to Paralyze, that is totally fine. I totally respect that. I just ask you to be respectful and know that both games can exist in the same space. I personally am trying to support both games, both the Sims franchise because it's near and dear to my heart and Paralyzed just because I am really interested in it and to see where it goes. So on that note, I'll let you go. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.